Man, I can't believe how hot this weather is. Yikes. Um, okay, I've got some books here for Easter. I've got Walk in the Woods should be a great book for um, Arbor Day. And Halloween. Oh, man. This book is going to be fantastic for Halloween. Well, Chris, we're doing Christmas right now. Oh, oh. Christmas? Yeah. Okay, well, um, let me change, right. and, I'll, and I'll be back in a second. Hang on. Yikes, it's cold. Oof. It took me about an hour to shovel out from my driveway today. Ooh. Hello. Um, welcome to another Just a Suggestion. Today, on Just a Suggestion, I have got this. What's that? Well asked. <laughs> this is I my new... I do what I can. Yeah. I just try to do my part. Thank you. This is my new... Ooh, wait a sec. Okay, this is my new e-reader that was given to me by some folks here at the bookstore. And the book I'm going to be recommending for this week is Unholy Night by Seth Graham Smith, author of um, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. But first, I will speak a little bit about this Kobo e-reader. Um... I really like it because if well put <laughs> uh, thank you thank you I, I, I try keep it simple hey, hey one of the things I like about this is that if I go to the bookstore and I'm looking for a particular book that the bookstore does not have that this downtown books copy doesn't have in stock I can purchase it right away and download it immediately through Kobo and another thing I like about this is that when I signed up for Kobo through the bookstore here, um, when that happens, from now on, all the books that I buy through Kobo, the e-books that I buy, um, are helping to support Downtown Books and Coffee, which which is nice. I think so. So anyway, I, I guess that's enough about the, the e-reader. And now on to the book. So my choice for just a suggestion this time is the book Unholy Night by Seth Graham Smith, author of Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. And one thing I suppose I should stress before I get into this review of the book is the fact that this is a novel. This did not actually happen. Despite the fact that it discusses history and historical stuff, um, this book is not actually true. Because in case you didn't notice, Abraham Lincoln was not in actuality a vampire hunter. So no way. That's what I heard. Are you serious? Uh, I, would I lie to you? Yeah. Okay, not this time. Um, however, this book discusses the fact of the birth of Christ, but it's from the point of view of the wise men. And as you may be able to tell from glancing at the back of the book, these wise men were not altogether that nice. Actually, they were, turned out to be criminals on the run from the law, and they just sort of stumbled across baby Jesus. Literally. Well, they stumbled into the, the manger where he was being born. And directly onto the baby. They did not stumble directly onto the baby. That's what I heard. Well, you'll just have to read the book for yourself and find out. Now, one story that it reminded me quite a bit of, another book that takes place around the time of Christ, is, of course, Lamb, the Gospel According to Biff, Christ's Childhood Friend. Uh, however, the main difference being that this book has some extremely graphically violent scenes in it. So, if you are the type of person who enjoys graphically violent books, this may be the one for you. So come on down to Downtown Books and Coffee and pick it up. Um, you know, one thing I like about the fact that we put these videos up so soon after we record them is that it just makes them that much more fresh and relevant, and uh, I, I just think that's fantastic. Oh, oh you, you will be able to take out that stuff at the beginning, right? Uh, sure. Okay. okay. Cool. It's not a chance. Uh, what was that? Nothing.